October ikot. It was before cut number five. It's not a fresh chai. Aside, just find out, give me the proper details of where exactly what is exactly is happening. Fine. She needs to confirm if it was a miscellaneous application, then we are just on the right. Let us know so that we refer him accordingly. Just hold on. It's not in. We will go to we're going to look for his witnesses. He's not in. So let's come. Mr. Kinyanjui's matter if he's ready then on the 26th of September 2023 before Justice Mutende counsel for the first applicant uh, for the applicant that is the DCI was present. The first respondent and second respondent were also <coughs> presented. And our client, the interested parties, were represented. Such that this cannot be said that it is not known. Everybody is aware of it. And now that we are informing the court that that order is actually there for the file to be taken to the High Court, isn't this the moment that you put down your pen and wait for that ruling that might come from the High Court or whatever direction it comes in? <coughs> the matter comes up tomorrow. Such that if this court, high court wants to have a look at this file and you are hip, having it here, then it will not have that benefit so that we are there before it tomorrow. <coughs> it's tomorrow, for, uh, it's coming up for, <coughs> it's here. It's for directions tomorrow. So uh, the, 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 then I tend to think and respectfully think so that this is the moment then you put down. We appear for the intended interested part applicant. This Remuhi Musa, who filed his application, been joined as a party in this matter, <coughs> dated 29th day of September 2023. Same was served to all the parties. The state has sought for time to respond to our application. The first interested party have responded to our application and served us with a 66-page response. Your 
Corona, just for the record. The application of the high court is seeking. You. you want us to address specifically on those issues? Can address you on those issues. Now, on the question of extension. The professional mona. Mm -hmm. You hire them, they come, they cry, they get a plate of rice, they go home. Mr. Omari's client wants a plate of rice. We shall give him. But not now. Let us get to the issue of the victim. When does one become a victim? Not because he only claims, but when he is designated as one. Is there a charge sheet before you in the court today? If there was a charge sheet by the DCI today, it would show you who the complainant is. And then from there, you'd be able to determine who a victim is. It's as simple as that. So there is no charge sheet, and therefore there is no victim. And that is why I'm saying a professional mourner has come in. Nobody is saying that this person cannot be a victim later on. He does not even require our permission. We cannot give it. Our consent is not required, as Mr. Omari says. But then the question is, can he be admitted into these proceedings at this particular time? The Supreme Court has made decisions in the Waso case and Kwekwe Mwandaza and many other cases that a victim shall come to court and has a right to be represented. But let us define, first of all, who the victim is. If there was a person to cry today as a victim, it would have been the second respondent, stay online. The fear! that. We went to the high court properly because of that. We got the orders of the high court that were saying that we appear uh, previously on the 26th and then uh, tomorrow because of that. But we were on record at that time before the high court asked for the file. Before. I am not saying that they cannot be admitted, but not today. Let us not modify that record. That is what happened. days it can be tomorrow but for now preserve that subject matter and I don't think Mr. Cliff is going to oppose that <laughs> to keep quiet if the state was to do this application so that they do not need to alert anybody the law is clear that it cannot be open-ended.
How did we know about it? Client and told him, look here, there is it. Please help. Educate me. Let me laugh. Tell the high court to In the meantime, you remove those things, you put those orders, and you cripple our clients. And then you're being told we must have <coughs> that matter is cut and dry. It is finished. The high court has made a decision on it. It has made a finding. But they want you to shut your eyes to it. They will not tell you that they filed a civil case in the lower court. And when things stand hot there, they are found to be a fraudulent order. What did they do? They took off. Then they took off. Immediately, two days later, they filed the high court case, which now we have attacked. Immediately after the high court case, they filed a constitutional case, which is still to be had. Immediately after that, they have now brought this matter here. Somebody who our court, in the high court, did not recognize, did not know, said was fraudulent. But they want you to everything else becomes a, a problem and a complaint. They will stand aside and let you cook. Do not allow yourself to cook. Put that pen down. Let us go to the High Court. Extend those orders if and only when the file.